Today we're at lesson 10, and this one is really powerful. This is what takes people from, you know, ordinary, physical, feeling great into the next level to the really what we call biologically optimized or the optimized cellular function. And today we're going to talk about the seven essential dietary components that you require if you want to be what we call biologically optimized. And we're going to go back to my little diagram. Remember, we go back here to the cell, okay? And inside the cell, our little energy furnaces are those mitochondrias, right? Remember that, mitochondria. I'll just put mito here for now because we, we're already familiar with the terms. If you haven't watched the earlier videos, make sure you go back to it. This is the energy house. This is the power pack. This is what makes the cell work, okay? And inside of here, we also have, inside the center of the cell, you have your DNA. We all heard about that, uh, you know, about, you know, that how the little, the little circles, you know, like looks like little snakes on the caduceus for the medical doctors. The DNA is basically how your body sends and receives messages and how it functions. And it sends messages out and in through things called RNA, okay? And these are forms of amino acid chains. So you can go into any biological, you know, function book or biology book or physiology book and if you want to dive re really deep into this. We're going to give you the basics today so that you can understand and implement this immediately into your life. So when I looked at, you know, cellular function, how does it work? And why we built the program that we did. I built it on this type of model. What are the essential components that the cell needs to function? And of course, we covered a lot of them. We covered air, water, exercise, and sunlight. Those are the big macro things that, you know, everybody needs to, to get a hold of. But let's look at the, the basic cell and what it requires. And what we notice is that there's a series of things that is very important. Number one is a thing called enzymes. Enzymes are responsible for everything from thinking to blinking. Every single metabolic function inside your body requires enzymes, whether it's thinking a thought, feeling a feeling, whether it's digesting your food, whether it's repairing a cell, whether it's eliminating a toxin, rebuilding your liver, making your kidneys function, everything in your body requires enzymes. And I refer to a book by the name of, it's called Enzyme Nutrition by a guy by the name of Dr. Howell. And this is one of my staples. And if you haven't read this book, I would encourage you to do so. Enzyme Nutrition. And Dr. Howell is one of the great pioneers behind understanding how enzymes work. And there's some great research in here. He has another book called Enzymes, uh, Food Enzymes for Health and Longevity. And the results are simple. You have an enzymatic pool, and it is limited. And ideally, you get your enzymes from raw foods, whether, you know, if it's a tiger eating, you know, a zebra, it gets the enzymes from the zebra. If it's you eating a vegetable, you get the enzymes from the vegetable, except in one condition. Anything cooked over 118 degrees. Of course, that's Fahrenheit for all you guys out there. What happens at that point is you kill the enzymes in your body. Now, these enzymes, what they do is they speed up metabolic transactions inside your body. They are essential for function. In every degree of temperature that your body goes up, the enzymatic activity increases, okay? So except when you get to 118 degrees, what happens is you actually start to break down the enzymes and they don't function anymore. And so what's interesting about humans is we're the only species on the planet that cooks its food. Now, obviously there are some benefits to cooking and you know there's a lot of evidence that cooking was what contributed to our larger brains for the production of carbohydrates or the utilization of carbohydrates and the ability to absorb more nutrients and fill our brains. Our brains, by the way, burn up about 30% of the energy of our body. Just thinking requires more energy than just about anything. So Dr. Howell pointed this out that all species that ate cooked food, and he did all kinds of experiments, they noticed that the longevity, the health, the function, the incident of birth defects all started to change to the negative. 
In other words, species died sooner. They got more diseases. They had more genetic challenges when they replicated, and eventually they became so they couldn't procreate any more. Now, he predicted this happening to the human population way back in the 40s and 50s, and today, you know, years and years, decades removed, we're starting to see an increase in DNA related diseases. We're starting to notice that people are getting fatter sooner. We're, and we're starting to notice that people are having all sorts of metabolic issues and inability to focus and concentration. And it can largely be traced back to enzymes. Okay? So enzymes, getting them into your body, whether it, you know, and the thing is, is having a raw food diet. Someone says, that's the answer. Just have a raw food diet because every natural thing, plant, fruit, vegetable, will have enough enzymes that you can digest it. Well, the reality is you can eat all the tomatoes and oranges and pineapples and bananas. And, you know, I did a completely raw food diet for or just over two years to experiment with this. And you still can't replenish the enzymes inside your body from that. You'll get enough to digest the food, but you won't increase that. And Dr. Howell said that the average 40-year-old has less than 30% of the enzymatic pool, or what he called the enzymatic potential left in their body. And I believe personally that that's what creates the aging and degeneration, the inability to start writing those metabolic checks. So now suddenly you don't feel like running as much, or now you don't feel like exercising much, or now you don't feel like learning the new skill. It's simply enzyme preservation because your body is always going to move to the most, you know, it's going to preserve the most essential things first. The second thing on our list that we need, essentially, is probiotics. So probiotics are the good guys, or the ba good bacteria. We all heard of antibiotics. Well, inside your body, okay, it's, it's a 10-80-10 ratio. I'm going to talk about this a little bit. 10% good bacteria, 10% bad, and 80% opportunists. There's approximately 500 types of bacteria inside your body. And the good ones we call probiotics. Now the thing is, is most of us are here thanks to the modern uh, development of antibiotics. And how an antibiotic works is it kills off good bacteria. By the way, just so you know, there's 10 times the amount of bacteria in your body than there is cells in your body. That's, that's, that's pretty weird when you think about it. It's like there's more bacteria, but when I grew up, I was taught that bacteria is something bad that you just want to eliminate. Well, we know that now that it's 10-80-10, 10% are good. And every time someone takes antibiotics, you're going to start changing this ratio. So when I was a kid, I used to get sore throats a lot, like three, four times a year, and I'd have to be given antibiotics. And so over time, I was probably chipping away at my good bacteria, and maybe I only got 9% and then 8%, and this, and this was 80 and then the bad guys were 12. So I was starting to get sick more often because when you change this flora level, you start to notice different effects on the body. All sorts of things happen. We're going to get into that in a little detail later. The next thing, so making sure that you get enough good bacteria inside your body. And there's a lot of research out there now that's supporting this. It's good for weight loss. It's good for energy metabolism, skin conditions, things like that. The next thing that we know that our body needs is minerals, okay? Now, with minerals, though, you can't just ground up rocks. Your body will not work. You get minerals out of You can take any stone, grind it up, and eat it. You're not going to be able to get those. So there's organic minerals and inorganic minerals. And your body needs organic minerals. We've got a whole section coming up that talks about that. Then we have the other thing that we need inside our body is vitamins. Of course, years ago, they found this, you know, with uh, sailors that, they were getting scurvy, and eventually they discovered that it was because they didn't have enough vitamin C, and that's so the, they started putting lemons and limes on ships. And of course, you know, with the British Empire had their, all their ships, that was one of the reasons why they called them limeys, because they were using this so they wouldn't get scurvy on these long excursions across the land. Of course, now you just fly over there in eight hours, you don't have to worry about it. The next thing that you need inside your body is what we call essential amino acids, EAAs. Your body creates these little protein chains, okay? And these are made out of amino acids. Amino acids, there's 22 that your body uses, and eight are essential. 
We have a whole section on that coming up as well. But you, may, you need the, those essential amino acids in the right amounts so that your cell can function. The reality is, is this. You can get by without some of these things, but you'll never be optimized. You'll never experience the full level of energy and vitality that you're capable, and frankly, you deserve, and frankly, you need if you want to achieve the loftiest goals inside your life. Okay, you need essential amino acids. We're going to talk a little bit about that in another lesson. To, to I want to just cover the basics here. Then we need what's called essential fatty acids, EFAs. And I'm really grateful. There's a lot of stuff on this. I highly recommend reading a friend of mine's book, Dr. Udo Erasmus, Fats That Heal and Fats That Kill. It's a great book, and it talks about the different types of fat and particularly about essential fatty acids. You see, essential fatty acids make up this layer of your cell. It makes up your skin, and it makes up a lot of vital components inside your body and is key in hormone function, developing the hormones so that your body works in the way that it's supposed to. And, you know, this is one that I had to learn a lot about because, you know, from my past as a competitive bodybuilder, I really dieted really, really hard at periods of time. I got my body fat to low, low levels, and I didn't have enough EFAs, and it really affected my, my brain function, and it, it affected my happiness and my hormone profile. And thankfully, I learned about EFAs and what they, th what they could do for the body. And then the final thing here is number seven. I don't even see that, but this is what I call uh, carbohydrates. And carbohydrates get a bad rap. But basically, they fall into a couple categories. Complex carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates. The best carbohydrates that you can have are carbohydrates that come from Mother Nature as close to their form as possible. We'll go into more details about this in some of our upcoming lessons, but basically, the things that you want to avoid is simple sugars, you know, glucose and sucrose, and you know some of the maltodextrins and things like that that are pumped inside of foods that are artificially created and generated to hook you on that. Well, you want to turn back the clock and start switching out those sugars for natural sugars. And most of us, frankly, are addicted to sugar. And it you know it turns on you know different receptors inside our brains and makes it addictive. So if you find that you're one of those guys that have a sugar tooth, I highly recommend using things like dates and figs. Uh, grapes, highly sweet fruits to take the replace of the candy and sugar and sodas that you might be drinking before. These seven things are super essential. And let me explain how this works. You know, when we talk about the, the cells, in order to bring this inside the body, you need an enzymes and probiotics. These two things, they're the workers. Okay, we'll put that over here. Workers. I'm kind of getting on our cell here, but you get the idea. They're the only things that do work. All of the rest of these things are building materials. So one of the things, if you look at our product line at you know, Bioptimizers, is we focus on these seven things. And, and the reason why we do that is because we want to make sure that you have every single day the optimum amount of these things to you know, to heal, to go to the highest level of performance and to become biologically optimized. So make sure you check with our, you know, 15 minute a day routine where we actually incorporate all of these. And just briefly, we'll talk about these a little bit more, but inside um, for enzymes, we have our product, which is Masszymes, which is the most powerful proteolytic enzyme product on the market. You need enzymes to break down and utilize these proteins and also for the replication of proteins inside the cell, RNA, DNA, and stuff like that. So this is great. We also contain a variety of other enzymes, which we'll talk about, that are inside that. Our probiotic formulation is a patented probiotic that there's nothing like it on the market. Be sure to, tell, to check the patent details on it. But basically, this is the most powerful worker. It's like a super probiotic that's been developed by a team of researchers and allows you to live and exist at the highest levels and get this balance back where it's supposed to be because frankly most people's digestive system are compromised because of antibiotics and chemicals and a variety of things which we'll cover in another lesson. The other thing is we have our protein breakthrough product which contains 
all of the enzymes, all of the amino acids and essential fatty acids that your body needs to operate functionally. And then we also have our primogen vitamins and minerals, a liquid dropper. We actually take this and put it in a dropper and drop that right into your water as it, because it increases absorbability and it also provides all of the little components including all the trace minerals that your body needs in order to function at the highest level so those are the seven things so you'll notice unlike a lot of supplement companies that are focusing on these little specific things that are kind of enhancers and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them what we're talking here is if you're going to put time energy and effort or money your resources into supplements Put them into supplements that are known to optimize the cellular function. And that's what we do in this order. So it's enzymes, probiotics. Those are the workers. Minerals and vitamins. Those are like the spark plugs of the body. The essential amino acids and the essential fatty acids. Those are kind of like the building blocks of the body and also for hormones and stuff. And then carbohydrates are like the energy fuel the fuel to make your brain function at its highest level and make you feel great all day long. So that's the basic seven we're going to cover today in lesson 10. We're going to break down each one of these in further lessons so that we can go deep in the understanding so that you can understand this on what I call on a cellular level. And, you know, just to pause and one last thing is to realize is I'm so delighted that you've been with us this long and I know we're at lesson 10 and, you know, some of those obstacles stay with it, keep with the routine, keep learning about these things, because even if you don't understand everything, I'm going to keep referring back to some of our principles that we set up here so that you can take your body to the next level, which reminds me, we're going to teach you the stages that you're going to go through in an upcoming lesson. Basically, there's several stages that you're going to go through. And you know we know this because we've experienced it ourselves and the thousands and thousands of clients that we've coached have gone through this as well. And so what you want to do is be able to understand what you're going to experience, how it's going to happen, and how it's going to work for you, and to stay on the program long enough that you get what I call experiential confirmation. In other words, your life is so much better and so much more optimized that it becomes absolute proof that what we're teaching you and what we share with you makes a powerful difference and that's our goal and motivation for you so we'll see you on the next lesson